village uh, Gompo Art Center, which is um, really the birthplace of Johnny Diani and the fulfillment of 40 years of work. You know, 1986 he passed away in Germany. Um, he used to carry with him um, the soil of his land in his pocket because he'd been in exile for all these years. You know, he never brought the soil home. So I think we, we're returning his legacy home through the music. So we've got people from Germany, in particular, three people from Germany. We've got Claude from uh, United Kingdom, Thomas from Copenhagen, and they've all come together to celebrate the legacy of Johnny Diani. And you've got people who've been playing this music for 40 years. They've kind of, um, you know, the, the sound is within them. And now to bring that here and to pass on this to the next generation is very empowering because the bass is, is like a carpet in the music and Diani's compositions were like a carpet that so many uh, musicians were able to find their voice through. So the idea of bringing these compositions home, transcribing them, scoring them, putting them into a songbook, getting them into education, is really to grow the empowerment to the next generation so that they may find themselves through the music. The thing to do is to water our roots, plant our seeds, water the seeds so they may blossom for the next generation. And the way we do that is by recognizing what has come before us and honoring those that come from the same soil. So in the case of Johnny Diani, it is the first anthology of transcribed compositions that we are bringing into syllabus. This is very important because at universities they learn so much American jazz, which is wonderful. But by learning South African jazz as South Africans, perhaps it's going to be easier to form your own identity, not only as a South African, but as an individual with your own dreams and ideas. So I think very much the focus is to empower each and everybody to blossom as a tree, whatever kind of tree you may be. You know, the compositions, the roots, these are the seeds that we are watering for the next generation.